Hi, welcome to The Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. Part two of our troubleshooting series, we're going to start with outlets. The most important thing in this video is location, location, location. This is important because there are certain areas in your house that are GFCI protected. GFCI devices are sensitive to ground faults and trip much more easily than a circuit breaker would. If you have an outlet in your bathroom, garage, or outdoor space that isn't working, then there is a good probability that you have a trip GFCI somewhere. GFCIs are those outlets that have the little buttons on it that say test and reset. You may be thinking, well, this isn't it. This one just looks like a regular outlet. That may be true, but if it is in one of the areas I mentioned before, it still may be connected to the load side of a GFCI. I will go over how to wire a GFCI in another video. For this video, just remember that a GFCI trips, it can make other regular outlets not work. What you want to do is go around your house and look at all the places you have GFCIs. Check to make sure none have tripped. If you notice that one is tripped, press the reset button. Go back and check that non-working outlet. You may also run into the case that you found the GFCI, but it won't reset. That means your next step is replacing that GFCI. 